question is the motion moved by Senator Griff be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Senator Di Natale. I, I rise to take note of an answer given by the Foreign Minister. This uh, Morrison government uh, decision to relocate the uh, Australian uh, Embassy uh, to Jerusalem uh, is a disgrace. Uh, it is a government that seems hell-bent on ruining Australia's international reputation by cynically lining up behind a dangerous and unstable US president to destroy any prospect of a just peace in Israel-Palestine and, of course, sacrificing our relationship with our friends and neighbours, such as Indonesia. The announcement regarding Jerusalem is nothing more than a craven attempt to effectively play uh, a set piece from the Donald Trump foreign policy manual. It's about creating a big stir with a controversial statement. It plays to your base. It advances the politics of fear and division and is done with an eye on the Wentworth by-election around the corner. But I have a great faith that the, many of the Jewish voters in Wentworth don't share the Prime Minister's views on Jerusalem and the Iranian nuclear deal, and they don't share it for a variety of reasons. Let's consider what type of policies and behaviour the Morrison govern government's announcement is now rewarding. Just a few months ago, the Israeli government passed the nation-state basic law, which states that Israel is the nation-state of the Jewish people and that the realisation of national self-determination in the state of Israel will be exclusively for the Jewish people. It announces that Greater and United Jerusalem is the capital of Israel and that Arabic loses its status as an official language. And of course, it confirms that uh, uh, Jewish settlements will continue. Settlements in occupied East Jerusalem and the West Bank are illegal under international law. Almost 600,000 Jewish Israelis now live illegally in the West Bank. In August, Israel approved plans for more than 1,000 settlements, 96 per cent of which are in isolated settlements that Israel would likely need to evacuate within a two-state agreement. Let me reiterate, building these settlements is a flagrant, a flagrant violation of international law. It's illegal. The UN Security Council once again confirmed the illegality of the settlements. How can Palestinians trust that the Israeli government is serious about peace talks when it keeps taking more land? And it deliberately creates facts on, on the ground, a preemptive territorial claim. Settle, settlements make life extremely difficult for ordinary Palestinians through checkpoints and settler-only roads. They increase the incidence of demolitions of homes and communities in Palestine. This is the sort of behaviour that the Australian government is rewarding with its announcement today. If we really wanted to salvage the possibility of a two-state solution, we'd recognise Palestine. We wouldn't pander to Donald Trump and, indeed, to Mr Netanyahu. Recognising a Palestinian state reaffirms the fact that the occupation is illegal. It shows that there are alternatives to armed resistance and it could represent an important step in unblocking negotiations. It demonstrates that the international community will not let the current reality continue. So once again I say, shame on you, Mr Morrison, for again giving in to the extreme right of your party and undermining international peace efforts in false pursuit Order. of an electoral outcome the on the weekend. The motion moved by Senator Di Natale be agreed to. Those of that opinion